Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I filmed another Bulgarian workout for you guys. Now, made a couple changes, uh, which I'll discuss here, which netted me a, uh, a new PR. And, you know, it's kind of funny. I'm seeing a lot of scuttlebutt on the internet of people saying, Oh my God, Jason Blaha is bragging about his lifts from his daily Bulgarian. I'm not bragging. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't think I'm that strong right now. I don't think I'm that strong. Now, when I'm down under 220 and I'm squatting 550 without wraps, I think that'll be fair. That's when I can say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm strong. 475 squat, weighing over 220? No, I mean, even though I'm in my 40s, it doesn't matter. I don't think that's that great. It's okay. I'm getting there. I'm making progress. Um, so when I, I celebrate me kind of reaching each little new milestone, it's not bragging. It's not me saying, oh, look at me. I'm so amazing. It's me saying, hey, I'm so happy I'm, I'm doing better. I'm better than I was a week ago. I'm better than I was yesterday. I'm moving forward. I'm making progress towards my goals. I'm happy. Because, you know, we should. You should be able to enjoy those things. And that's something with a style of training like this that, you know, you got to keep in mind. It might take you a hell of a long time to get to where you want to be. But every step that you move forward is a step in a positive direction. You know, you're moving towards your goals as part of a long-term project. And for the first time, finally, you know, late last year, for the first time uh, in, in years now, I've been able to actually train comfortably on my own terms without having to deal with other stressors getting in the way, right? As we discussed all that before. Um, other people don't have the ability to remove my ability to train the way that I want now. Uh, or to cause me grief or stress when I'm trying to train. So I get to enjoy that. Now, hold on, here's my, uh, my PR. I'll get back to the other point in a minute. All right, uh, I went up another five pounds today, even though yesterday was a five pound jump. Why? I woke up, I felt good. My warm-ups felt light. My 375 felt like 200 pounds. So when my last ramp up feels over 100 pounds lighter than it should, when it didn't feel any heavier by adding the extra plate on each side than the, the, the rep before, I know I'm good. It felt so light on my back that I'm like, okay, my strength is up today. Well, let me take another bump, which I did. Then we went up another five pounds. It puts me 25 away from a short-term goal to do 500 every day. 25 away, right? That daily minimum's coming up. Now, I'm excited about that. I'm happy about that. And that goes back to the point. Uh, I'm happy about that. You know, just like when one of you guys, you take your squat from 350 to 355, I'm happy for you. It doesn't mean you're not weak, but I'm still happy for you because you're five pounds stronger than you were. It's called making progress. Enjoy those things, man. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy every little milestone that you reach and then say, okay, but I'm not where I need to be. But I'm going to enjoy the one that I just made, and I'm going to enjoy the next one. You know, and then that's how you have to look at it. And people have these weird ideas about it. You know, there's a lot of really insecure people out there who they can't let you enjoy a little milestone, even while admitting that you're nowhere near where you need to be. Right? Just like if I every five pounds of weight I lose, body fat that I lose. Now, that's a milestone. If I lose five more pounds of fat, I'm not going to be lean. <laughs> Right? Look at me right now. Five pounds of fat loss. You think I'm going to be lean? You think I'm going to have abs? Of course not. But you have to enjoy those milestones. It's enjoying those little small victories, every little step in a journey that keeps you motivated to keep moving forward. And it's really insecure people out there who can't let people enjoy their own journey, who they have to to pick it apart and mock it and, and actually act like the people are bragging, you know, when they're like, hey man, I'm happy, I reached a new milestone. It's, it's really ridiculous, it's absolutely ridiculous. You know what? Let people enjoy their milestones. So what if they're not a world champion at what they're trying to do yet? How do you know they're not gonna be? They enjoy every little milestone and they stay motivated to make 500 more little milestones, they might end up being a world champion. You might wanna stay out of their way. You know, unless it's something you think is frivolous and stupid, which, you know, I can understand that. Some people might think strength training is frivolous and stupid. I don't. I think bodybuilding is frivolous and stupid. But I still have friends who compete. And I only pick on them a little bit about the G4P thing. But outside of that, I wish them a congratulations when they win something. 
You know what I tell them? Congrats. Even though I think it's frivolous. Why? Because that's their journey. That's the thing that they're working towards. That's what they enjoy. If it brings joy and fulfillment to their life, so be it. doesn't mean I'm not going to make fun of it a little bit. But I'm happy for them if they reach a milestone that they're, they're trying to uh, travel in their journey. So what did I do different today? I did chin-ups twice. I looked at it and said, guys, I don't feel like rowing. Um, why do I need accessory work right now? I'm progressing just fine. I'm losing fat. I'm gaining strength. I don't need accessories. I need to get better at the main lifts, the lifts that are matter to me. And I'm going to have to start deadlifting coming up in the next couple months again. Siri, actually taking my deadlift seriously again. All right, I'm going to get enough pulling from the floor when I do that. And the fact I'm working on my hook grip a little bit every day now, starting again a few days ago, actually taking it seriously again. I am having to do some axial loading stuff and stand there and hold with a hook grip. Uh, I don't need the extra axial loading. The chin-up is going to be better for my overall goal. So I'm like, let me do a second chin-up. So, you know, I mean, I did my 90-pound chin-up here because guys need to understand, I split this into two workouts. I do my first three lifts, and then somewhere between two and four hours later, I do whatever else I'm going to do, whether it's a single lift, two lifts, two lifts and accessories, whatever. Right, even the stuff I don't put on camera comes after everything else, if I do anything not on camera. So I'm like, I might as well just get a second chin up in. Uh, I need to get better at these. There's an important lift for me. It's one of my big five. One of my big five, right? Not my big three, my big five, which is the three power lifts, chin ups, and the press. Long term, that might turn into the clean and the snatch also. I might have a big seven. But I got to get a strength based build. I'm not squatting 550 consistently. I don't give a crap about any sort of Olympic lifts. Those can come later. They're fun. They're fun lifts and they have their place. My primary goal at the moment. That'll be another journey. You know, we'll see what happens in a year, two years. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to be training still. So, you know, I might have a big seven. But these are my big five at the moment. And since I'm not doing the deadlift, I might as well do one of the other lifts a second time. I'm getting two presses in every day. I might as well get two pulls in. And my legs sure can't take much extra squatting after doing the heavy single each day. So why not another chin up? It'll work the other muscles, all the muscles I want to work from the rows. And I'll get better at one of the lifts I want to do. I know that flies in the face of so many people's ideas. Like, oh my God, you're just doing singles now. Oh my God, nothing but singles. How are you going to make gains? It's impossible to make gains off singles. You'll never get bigger and stronger. You're never going to recomp. Eh, watch me. I've been doing it. You know, watch me. You guys are behind the times on the data and what people are doing. All right. Easy 225 press. Held it at the top. I should have added two and a half pounds on that today. You know what? I don't care, though. I'm just going to do 225 every day this week. If it still feels this good, I might bump it two and a half next week. No guarantees. How fun would that be? Start doing 227 and a half every day. And then 230 every day. It's coming. It's coming. Uh, so yeah, did another chin up. I, did, I didn't do another body weight one. I just went straight to a 45 and then hopped over and did 90. Because might as well. I'll do two sessions. The chin up is one of my big five. I know it needs work. Now arguably my bench is the weakest out of these right now. Deadlift is probably the weakest, to be fair, because I haven't been deadlifting. My deadlift's going to suck. <laughs> it's going to suck when I start pulling again. But wait, I'm going to put the same effort into it. I'm going to be putting into all these lifts. And it will come up. It will come up. But, you know, the squatting and the chin-ups will help, help build it for now. The extra grip work will give me the foundation to rebuild it. And that's the whole point. You know, I need the foundation to rebuild that deadlift. So I get the hook grip where I want it, get the squat kind of base sorted so that I can put work into the deadlift because I can slow my progression down on the squat. You know, guys, that's my other thing. I'm, I'm not concerned with pushing my squat progression super hard once I hit 500 every day. We can just coast real slow from there. Slow upward trend. Then I can put efforts into the deadlift. But you need that solid squat base again. But yeah, the chin-ups, great accessory. I mean, yeah, it'll bring my biceps and everything up. But it's a great accessory for my other lifts. Chin-up's an all-around good exercise. There you go, another dead hang right up over the bar. No problem. That 90 pounds is getting easy to do. 
Now I'm going to start doing it twice a day. How fun will that be? I'll get really strong at this lift if I keep that up. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.